Hello there everybody and welcome back to Stasis. Now when we left off, we were seeing the fruits of some particularly um, disgusting experiments. I think I'd I read everything in here. I read that, I read that, other that, that, that. Well over something with nitrogen canisters. If they were more open, this wouldn't happen. To who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? What cost? A bit of our humanity. I suppose. Let's see. Oh yes, we've got these weird lock things on these. So I have no idea what they are. Well, okay then. Now, we had a sentry bot to deal with, and I was thinking about this in the interim. Got an idea, because if you remember, we picked up a bandage and a portable defibrillator. We also picked up a high temperature sub gun. I have no idea what that is. A liquid nitrogen canister. But I'm thinking, robot, defibrillator, electricity. Electricity does have a tendency to destroy robots. So what I'm thinking is we can somehow... I don't know how. Hmm. No, I see, I need to keep out of it. I wonder if... Oh, that works. Oh dear. Does he come all the way up? I don't think he does. Fingers crossed! Oh, thank god for that. I thought he was coming up then. <laughs> oh, I nearly had a heart attack. So, yeah, I got a wet... Oh, I had a wet cloth. Used to have gone now. Okay, well let's, we'll wait for him to come back up, and then once he turns back around, we'll, I, I'm thinking use the wet cloth, make the floor wet, electricity, zap, something like that. Aha! Ah uh, yes, look, 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 the water's gone down, ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. do this timing perfectly. Gotcha! <laughs> oh. You're gonna blow up. No, you didn't blow up. Give me your bullets, because I need them for my gun. Easy is that something? Did I get bullets? Was it bullets? She's clearly a gun, uh, a robot with guns because he shot me to pieces. <laughs> what I get? What I get? Twisted metal. That was not bullets. Okay then. What's that? Some sort of force field or something? The elevator platform apparently. Ooh. On another thing, and a power pad, and some sort of. Am I gonna die if I go through here? Warning: the oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. No, apparently I can't go through there. Okay, can I go? There's an airlock. Can't go through that. Another power pad in the sink. What the hell? Okay, stepping on the power pad seems to have done something. Um, that was bizarre. So I can't. I definitely can't go that way. I can't go that way. What the hell was the point of taking out the robot then? There appear to be anything down here I can do. Nope. Uh, black void. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. I was hoping to make some sort of progress, but... Mutagen laboratory. Birthing laboratory. What have we got? We've got a twisted... I don't think this will fit. 
No. Oh, I wonder if... Ah, ah, I wonder if... I'm wondering if... We can use... Hmm. Oh, probably not a good idea. No. Hmm. Maybe. No. I can't see it working like that. Okay, so that doesn't work either. Okay, so I'm missing something. If I need to. Hmm. Hmm. If you can use the data tag to get through that, maybe. Let's find out. Well, that was relatively anticlimactic. Well, at least I don't have to worry about dying from that bloody machine now, but it also means that I've got to work out. That's just crazy. Although, no, crazy. Definitely crazy. Hmm. Technology that provides energy boost for heavy duty equipment. Like what? I don't know what I was thinking there. Um. Must be something I can do. Okay, so we've got an empty pistol, a high temperature slug gun. What the hell can I use for that? Maybe. Maybe. There's some sort of terminals. Terminals. Looking around... Let's go back in the other way. Oh, hang on, wasn't there a... Uh, thinking about it, wasn't there some sort of... Bench or something in here? No, my... Booted feet is... Uh, it's a computer terminal. What did that have on it? Is it just logs? Yeah, just logs. Well, okay, that wasn't it. Um, da, 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 dum, dum. Power set. Can't use. Hmm. Probably not a good idea. No, that's ridiculous. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. No, crazy. Well, this is unfortunate. I've already got myself completely and totally stuck. Okay, let's let's try to be thorough about this. Gurneys, nothing I can directly interact with. Because we took the defibrillator and the rag from this lot. So presumably the point was to do that and then do something with them. Nothing else we can get from the sentry bot. I think it's technically still there. There must be something... Something obvious, and I'm missing it. And it's irritating me, because I worked out how to get past the sentry bot, and now suddenly I can't move forward. I took a step forward, and then that's it. That's all I can do, apparently. Drift. Aha! Are we supposed to do this? Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. No. Maybe. Hang on. <laughs> no. If we put the liquid nitrogen down there. Empty pistol. I don't think that'll work. 
Hang on. I think that would just break it. Oh, there we go. Great. <laughs> progress! I have made progress! Oh, maybe progress wasn't such a good idea. Oh my god. Are these like supposed to be aliens? Or are they just really deformed humans? Yay, reading. Oh, Francis, I still lie awake at night thinking of you. You haunt my dreams, my nightmares, and my fantasies. We found love, dear, even when we worked in Kane's Sydney lab, creating viral strains that could turn a human inside out. We loved and made love. As was a match in heaven, we worked on only the most exciting viruses and pathogens. Our work together was a Mozart Requiem, a piece of perfection. My work now is a pale imitation of what it once was, oh Francis. Um, how long ago was it now? It must be ten years, but it feels like it was only yesterday. You were too sick to transfer to the Groom Lake when I did. You died just as I took up my post. Don't fret, my angel. I've begun concocting a way to bring you back to life. I always called you my little Frankenstein, do you remember? Shredding the boundaries between life and death always was always the uh, your ultimate goal. With well, now with Project Seed entering its second phase, my plans can finally be put to practice. I don't think bringing back the dead is a good idea. I, uh, I, I think that would be a very bad idea. Anyway, March 28th. Um, laboratories are off limits between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. So that when I work, so that's when I work. Uh, naturally, I prepare all the calculations and machines settings in my quarters. I keep the subjects under a false name in one of the pods. So far, not even Dr. Milan knows what I'm doing. Uh, each major laboratory operation I perform takes no more than an hour, and I always erase the machine's record at the end of each one. I'm using your DNA, my darling, with the enhanced regenerative abilities of the genetic material we've already synthesized for seed. You will be reborn, but you'll be impervious to physiological degradation, immune to sickness and pain. I'll have done to you what you would have wanted and made you perfect. And when you step healthily and blemish to reconstruct it from the glass room, you'll never leave me again. Yeah, see, the thing about cloning is that yes, you can create a person genetically, but you can't give them memories. Because memories aren't stored genetically. I mean, I know there is this thing of instinctive memory and genetic memory and stuff, but it's not like you can recreate everything that makes a person a person, because a person is more than just... DNA, it's experience, and it's lifestyle, and it's all these multitude of things that all combine to make a person, and it's very philosophical. Anyway, <clears throat> May 23rd. Things have felt strange lately. My work continues, but I swear, darling Francis, I can feel you watching me. I'm trying to work longer hours to complete than you and Reborn you, but it's not easy. Marvin has already had a look at some of my work, I'm sure, but if he'd have any concept of what I'm trying to achieve anyway. July 30th. I still wonder, my darling, why you cursed me as you died. Uh, you know it was an accident. I know you remember that. It wasn't murder. I never committed a murder, not even when we tested that pathogen on those troublesome neighbors. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. It was an experiment. How were we to know they'd choke to death on their own innards? I suppose death was a possibility, but that's science. Uh, I fear for your continued life. I'm afraid Milan knows. Who else knows? Have they contaminated you? I will run extra tests to make sure your code is not flawed or altered in any way. I'm anxious. I've started scratching my arms badly. At this rate, I'll end up like a leprous toad back. Oh, my dearest Francis, I have failed you. Milan knows. He confronted me about it directly. He wants me to... He wanted me to make you just like them. I cannot have you crawling around on the floors like some dog in the streets. The very idea offends me. I will protect you with my life. You will be reborn. I swear on this. Well, that's fun. I'm not going to go near that terminal until that hybrid goes away. Especially the eyes. Don't get 
too close. Lovely. What was that? Bone mending glue? That's a thing. Nice to see you're all pessimists. I'm curious what this terminal is about. Ah. Birth reports. Subject Lana. Um. Oh, no. Is that it? Is it just. Okay. Uh, Subject Lana. Subject host. Terry McCormick. First Lieutenant. Marine Liaison. Subject Observations. Rambuctious. Subject appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and latent aggression. Um, Lana has the makings of an excellent alpha female candidate. Recommendations move Lana to group cell as isolation appears to promote irritability. Daryl. Uh, subject host Willow Brody, nurse medical deck. Subject observations. Quiet but intelligent. Attempted to pick the lock on the cell yesterday but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle solving skills. While not especially aggressive, has strong build, a thinker clearly. Frederick. Do they all see Lana at the top? That's weird. Ah, that must be. Ah, typo error. You put Lana at the top. Tiss, tiss, tiss. Error! That's it! My immersion is completely ruined now. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Frederick Host, Maxi Maxwell, non crew member. Kedro from Phobos, subject observation. Subject shows little of his mother's solid frame. But is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observing others. Appears to be developing a strong tactical mind. Nay. Oh snap! Subject host Ellen Marachek, space tourist. I wonder why the music has suddenly kicked up and then I read the words. Oh dear, oh dear. One to watch, cunning, extraordinarily fast and dangerous. Appears to prefer isolation as attempted pairing results in fatalities. Takes an alpha role easily, dominates the other novi. A definite candidate for Lana's mate. Oh dear. Well that's it, you gasp while reading it and that's the only reaction you have? I'd be yelling down the phone at what's her name by now? And what's through here? Seems to be something. Once it loads. Give it a second here, people. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Life support machine, PDA. I like how this is supposed to be set in the future, and yet these things look like they're straight out of the frigging 80s or 70s, even. That is so bizarre. Wow. Um, I don't know how much reading we've got on these. Don't go any further. I'm warning you now. How? How could you do this? I do with my children as I see fit. It's barbaric. Spare me the pity of the righteous. Your daughter owes her life to me. What do you know about Rebecca? A.R.G. Was good on this ship, Mr. Magic. Gansa, HIV, Ebola. I eliminated them all. Her life is mine to do with as I choose. I. Oh, yes. I know about everything, Johnny Boy. I know about your daughter. And all about 
Accountable? What? Um, sadly, I'm going to have to leave us there, because it's the end of the episode. This is getting a little more interesting now. Um, we're clearly getting close to some kind of endgame scenario. So yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye!